Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to try and make free energy. I started by stripping out the transformers from a few old microwave ovens. I cut the coils out because I wanted to put a thinner wire because this will increase the voltage. Also, the previous coils were made out of aluminium. Aluminium does not have the same conductivity as copper. Then I made a jig out of perspex and nails to wind the copper wire around and I used it on my coil winder which you can see how I made it in another video. I used different size wires 0.5mm, 0.6mm and 0.7mm. This is what I had lying around so let's see if this will work. I did 2000 turns on a 0.5mm, 1500 turns on the 0.6 and 1000 turns on the 0.7. But luckily, my coil wind is geared, so it didn't take me too long. Then I drilled holes and inserted threaded rods with nuts in a 1.5 meter by 1 meter sheet of wood. This will be the table to mount the project. I epoxied and used tile graft to put 40 by 20 by 10 ferret magnets around a bicycle wheel, aligned with each spoke. I used tile graft as well because this will add to the weight to the outer edge of the wheel which will increase the momentum of the wheel. I drilled a hole in the table to insert the wheel then I bolted it down. Then I cut pieces of 25mm steel tube and epoxied it to the transformers. Then I cut strips of cardboard from a book and glued it to the transformers to hold the coils in place. I also cut pieces of cardboard to space the transformers away from the magnets. They need to be as close as possible. Then I glued them down using hot glue, but then I realized hot glue doesn't work so I used epoxy. the sprockets and bearing housing off another bicycle wheel and added bearings and glued the sprockets so it won't move. Then I drilled a hole just deep enough to hold the bearing and I made a bracket to hold the bearing shaft in place.
that's a strip of 40 by 3 aluminium. This is for extra support for the wheel. And then I added a chain, a chain guard and I connected the wires to a battery charger. Once the wheel is spinning, it's able to charge the drill battery and I don't have to spin the wheel all the time. Every 15 seconds I need to squeeze the drill for about 3 seconds just to keep the wheel turning. I'm going to be adding on other components to do further tests so stay tuned for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.